It was a cold, dreary, overcast morning, and the weary, mindless fisherman sat inside, looking outside, wondering what his day was going to entail. Then he came to the moment of truth. The moment of truth was, as this day slowly ticked by, minute by minute, he knew that when the sun set and he woke up in the morning, he would have to go to work. So, he decided to go fishing. <laughs> What's up, homies? Gabe Montgomery here, Tin Horse Money YouTube channel. I'm out here at Lake Kincaid, and man, it is a cold mamma jamba out here. The air temps are like upper 30s. It's misty, raining, overcast. We had a wintry mix coming in last night, and we had thunder and lightning and all that stuff. It's my day off. I've been sitting around wondering if I'm going to go, and I finally just said, screw it. I'm going to come out here and do it. If you like my content, give me that thumbs up. Appreciate it. Subscribe. I'm going to go out here and see what's going on. Give you a water temperature reading, lake conditions. Try to get on some fish. I just have a few hours. Like I said, got a late start, but I think I'm gonna put that jerk bait in my hand, maybe the A-Rig. I might try the rock crawler. Gonna be looking for points, secondary points, channel swings, and just deep rocky banks. The sun is starting to go down. I gotta get out there. I will see you on the water. Hey, if you haven't checked out the live stream, we do a live stream Monday nights at 7.30 Central, me and Backyard Bass. We got a lot of great guests on there just pros local sticks people in the industry whatever comes along we try to mix it up so if you got time monday night 7 30 central like to see you on there ask questions leave comments it's a really good time just a bunch of bass heads talking man so hope to see you on there all right just dropped the boat in and right here in the marina the water temps are like 42 just bumped up to 42 and the water clarity looks pretty good um i haven't thrown anything so i don't know exactly the water clarity but from what i can see it looks like it's about four to five foot visibility so nice nice pretty clear water lake's about normal pool too So we've got 42.7. There's some fish holding down there close to the bottom. Um, I need to probably pick up that Strike King, that KVD, that 300 series, that deeper diver to get those fish. But I'm gonna keep, keep throwing shallow and see what happens. Thank you. 
There we go, folks. Switched up to that French Pearl, the RC Stick 110. It's a nice chunky little fish. Just kind of running some of these secondary points. I saw this bird. See that bird over there? Let me clear this camera. Just throwing this uh, RC Stick in the French Pearl color. Switched it up, nice solid fish. Just running these secondary points and I saw this bird over here. Yeah, I thought I'd swing in here. He, there's a reason he's sitting here, so that's probably why there's some shad mixed in here. It's kind of slow out here, but I uh, got a little bit of time left and I've just uh, been kind of committing to this jerk bait. You know, pretty decent large mouth. Let's see if we can pick up another couple fish. Uh, water temps are holding at like 42 and a half and, and I'm down here like around the islands and stuff, the main lake, and it's uh, it's pretty clear, you know? It's like a five foot visibility. Even with the overcast, you can still see that jerkbait down there pretty far. So, nice fish. Let's put them back, see if we can get another one. Let's let this sucker go. It's a nice fish, I'm happy to have him. Thanks buddy for playing, appreciate that on a tough day. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. We got a huge muskie. We got a huge muskie on here. Oh my god. Alright guys, I just loaded up on a big, big muskie. <laughs> I'll see if you can this is nuts. Oh my god, this thing's huge. I can't even get him up. This thing's huge. Sucker man, it's a strip and drag. I'm trying to. There's some brush down here. I'm trying to stay out of it. There he is. This thing's a beast. He's a beast. Guys, we got a huge muskie on here. Just throwing that jerk bait, that jackal re range 110. The chartreuse belly. I'm not even sure the color of it. It just loaded up, and I got a big muskie on here. She's digging. I've had her up twice. Got a little six foot eight jerkbait rod, 10 pound test. There she is. <laughs> Look at that guys. Dang, that's a beast. That's like a, oh, I don't know man. That's close to 50 inches. Did you see that? Oh my god, what am I gonna do? I got this little bitty light jerk bait rod, 10 pound test. I need a I need a hand. Jerry, where you at man? Dang, that thing's huge. Got snot running on my nose. Look at that guys. It's a beast. It's a nice fish. She ate it too. How come on New Year's Day, I always catch a big fish. Two years ago, I caught my PV striper. Uh, 
I just caught the biggest striper of my life. I don't know how big this thing is. It's got to be 20 plus pounds. It's freaking huge. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> and uh, uh, this might be my PV musky. I don't know. It's a pretty good sized fish. I'm thinking it's, I don't know. It's like 46, 48, something like that. That's pretty big. It's pretty strong too. I don't know how my line's not breaking. Look how big this fish is, guys. I mean, look at this. I don't even know what to do. What do you do with that? So, leave comments. Would you reach down and grab that big, massive, monster-looking thing? Looks like a big alligator. I'm going to have to. <laughs> I'm going to have to do something. My line's not going to break, I don't think. This fish is kicking my butt. thing's huge. I'm scared to reach down and grab it. I'm not, I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm scared of things with big teeth. Alright buddy, look at that jerk bait. Look at that jerk bait just chomped. There we go guys. Wow, look at that, it's a beast. Let's let this thing go. I don't know how long it is, but <laughs> it's a gangster fish. Slime on my hands. Got my jerk bait back. I'm gonna take a breather. That was crazy. Water temp's like 42.9, and that fish just loaded up on it. It was nasty. Thought it was hung on a stick, like a stump. I'm fishing some little bit of wood out here, and uh, my gloves are soaking wet. It's cold. It's like 36 degrees out here. I got wet gloves now. It's no good. But uh, I'm gonna have to retie. I do believe that was a hell of a fight. Dang. Woo. All right. Moving on. Dude, that uh, 10 pound Sunline Sniper FC is legit. That's what I caught that fish on. And uh, this right here, this is a Jackal Rearrange. Not sure the actual color. It's got that chartreuse belly on it. And uh, that fish was 
kind of hog tied a little. I mean, the bait was all the way down, and as I down its throat, next as I got it up closer to the boat, it kind of popped out. So I only had one hook in the jawbone right there, and uh, I don't know how it didn't break off, but uh, lose the jerk bait rod, cut some light. Whew, craziness. That's gonna wrap it up guys. Thanks for coming along on this little Kincaid adventure. Man, it was pretty tough out here. Uh, managed to catch a few fish, including my PB muskie, man. That was pretty exciting. But water temps are like 42 and a half, just about everywhere I've been. Um, only had a few hours to fish and I kind of kept that jerk bait in my hand for the most part. Had a few bites, missed a few bites, of course. But it's just winter fishing, man. Winter fishing is hit and miss. You can come out here tomorrow and catch them good. Um, we had that, all those storms and stuff move through last night. I don't know if that affected the fishing or not, but it was pretty slow. Just glad to get out here. My feet are numb. It's very cold out here. It's like mid thirties and the wind's starting to pick up. So I'm gonna put this boat on the trailer and go back to the house. Please subscribe if you have not. Give me a thumbs up if you appreciate my content. I can barely talk because my lips are cold. That's all I got for you. Till next time.